Hello and namaste. Welcome to today's video. Uh, I had someone write in a question about my kundalini has awakened. What do I do now? And I just wanted to give a quick answer. Um, I wanted to go right to the essence. This, there's so many videos I've made and that other people have made about the, the fundamentals like I'll say or the kind of the foundational things about kundalini and I'm sure you've read those I believe we've had a session together um, and I, I'm, I think we went over those in that session so I, it's like I don't want to go over those again um, because like you can find those in so many places now on my website I'm sure I've made 50 plus videos about it I just want to take you to the essence I, I want to take you right to the core of, of, of this question um, and that is you give your life to the kundalini you literally give your life to this energy and it knows where to take you from there it's like if we have that starting point of I am going to let the kundalini live through me as me and we mean it and we're genuine about it then this process will just take on a life of its own it will unfold naturally and organically exactly how it's supposed to you will be guided to all the right things to do every day whether it's that's diet relationship work you name it but it really starts with that that deep surrender of making like this is what your life is about now a lot of times there's this part of us hanging on and wanting things to be how they were before kundalini but as, the longer we do that the longer we're going to kind of feel like this process is happening to us instead of happening for us but the moment we surrender into this process we recognize like i said that's when it, we recognize that this is happening for us for our highest good and then we're just we're surrendered and we let the kundalini do what it wants with us and that the one who's asking the question what do i do now, now that kundalini has awakened that one is still perceiving separation it's still perceiving that you and the kundalini like that it's separate from the kundalini but when you give your life to the kundalini and you allow this energy, this kundalini energy to live through you as you, what happens is it starts to integrate into your body, into your nervous system, and you start to feel one with this energy. You start to know yourself as the kundalini rather than the one that kundalini is happening to. You start to know yourself as love itself. And like my teacher always says, you know, Kundalini is God waking up in you as you. That's another way to look at it. It's like God consciousness is coming into your being, is coming into your body, and is waking up inside of you, inside of your animal body, your psyche, your psychology. And it's wanting to live through you. It's wanting to express through you. And it's so incredibly unique in how it wants to express and live through each one of us that it awakens in. So for you, it could be a totally different shape than it is for me, than someone else. And that's the beauty of Kundalini. No two paths are exactly the same. The essence of what it is is the same in a, in a deep sense. But how that looks on the earth plane is radically different. And it can be radically different in your own life too. Sometimes this kundalini energy, it wants me to sit in front of this camera and share and serve in this way. Other times it's taken me on crazy initiation journeys where I'm going to foreign countries with not that, much not that many resources and I'm being pushed to my limit and I, the kundalini is taking me into everything I... I have aversions about everything I might have had fears about. It's making me face all of these things and I, I'm just going through 
kind of this insane, adventurous lifestyle. And then it'll take me, you know, it might take me back home for a few weeks where I just rest and integrate. And it'll take me on another adventure. I mean, it, it's always moving in a very spontaneous, alive way is what I feel. So no two days are, are the same. No two breaths are the same. So for me to sit here and give you a root, like a whole scheduling, like what do I do? I, I don't know, but the Kundalini knows. And the more you give your life to this Kundalini energy, the more it will be self-evident to you what you're supposed to do or what it's asking of you in a moment, on a moment to moment basis. So that's my advice to you. It's a quick video. Um, I've been on another, I'm on another adventure as we speak. I feel like I'm, yeah, uh, it feels like a good time to make this video for you of, of like, things shift and things move. And, and that's the one, one thing I wanna end this video with is our mind, like wants to, to be like, oh, I found the way. This is the way it's gonna be my, the rest of the way with Kundalini. And my mind falls into that same trap too. But Kundalini is this dynamic force of divine energy and divine intelligence. So it, it's always going to know how to unravel you in the perfect way. And a lot of times our minds will get set on like, oh, this is the way it's working. And then all of a sudden Kundalini will come in and say, nope, we're going this way now. And the mind will get stubborn about it and the mind will, won't, won't want to surrender because it'll be like, no, but this was the way. But the Kundalini will come in and be like, I'm going to actually take all of your ideas from you about how this is going to look and how this should go. I'm just going to take that from you. <laughs> I'm going to dissolve that idea real quick. Like I have these ideas about, oh, I should live here. I should do this. And then the Kundalini is like, let me take that from you. You don't need that. So that process in itself can be painful just like surrendering your ideas about your life and how it's supposed to go from the egoic level and giving yourself to God, giving yourself to this divine intelligence and just going for the ride and enjoying it and knowing that this energy is so loving and so supporting that when you do give yourself to it, it's not always gonna be easy. Like my adventures recently over the last however long, 10 or 11 months, have not been easy by any stretch of the imagination. I found myself all over the world, all over this country, in very difficult situations. But I've noticed, I've always been held, I've always been cared for. There's been a deeper intelligence at work through this whole unraveling process that I've been going through, through my adventures. It's been like, sometimes the Kundalini it will, it will take us on an initiations. It's going to initiate us into a deeper strength, into a deeper faith, into a deeper willingness to face and walk into the unknown with courage, with a knowing that it's all gonna work out. And those can be exhausting, those can be tiring, those can make you scream, those can make you cry, those can bring out all these energies, all these emotions. But underneath that, the Kundalini is just bringing to life more of you. The Kundalini is just trying to show you more of who you really are. It's gonna take you to your breaking point. It's gonna utterly break you over and over again to reveal to you your indestructible essence. And then yes, it's gonna take you to these beautiful kind of retreat type places that from time to time where you just get to go somewhere and rest and integrate your experiences. There tends to be an ebb and a flow with this process. There tends to be a balance over a long enough period of time. So yeah, as you surrender to the Kundalini and allow it to live through you as you, you may notice a certain routine might birth itself through you for a while. Beautiful, surrender to that. Maybe, it, maybe you'll move into this, a, a diet that works. Maybe a certain exercise, a certain yoga, a certain, maybe a martial art will call to you. Maybe a certain creative endeavor. Typically the Kundalini, and I'm gonna say almost always, and I'm gonna actually rephrase that, always the Kundalini 
will ask you to give your gifts to life. And when you start giving your gifts to life, your whole like routine and what you should do day to day, it, it just builds out around that. And, and another way of saying that, like I said earlier, when you surrender your life to the Kundalini and allow it to live through you as you, that builds out your whole life, what you should eat, relationships, the work, where you should live, all of it. And so just connecting to that essence and moving from there is the best distilled essence I can give in this video. And it's already gone a bit longer than I thought it would. So I hope this helps you. I hope this helps anyone else going through Kundalini. Um, what a beautiful backdrop I am fortunate enough to speak in front of today. Um, it all worked out so divinely. Um, yeah, I actually lost my keys <laughs> at some point today. Thankfully, I have a backup set. Um, but that was part of the reason I kind of ended up here. Um, but uh, other than that, thanks for being here. The best ways to support this channel are to join the Patreon page where I create exclusive content. Um, it's, uh, it's such a beautiful way to support this work because it's like a monthly paycheck for me in a sense. You know, it's like the closest thing I've had to guaranteed income since doing this work. Um, so that really helps. Um, I'll also leave a link for donations. Um, and of course, a link if you would like to connect deeper with me uh, in one-on-one -on -one sessions. Other than that, wishing you all such a beautiful day. Um, many blessings to you and just so much love. Uh, thank you for being here with me and I will see you in the next video. Namaste.